Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got a card comparison to share with you. So basically what happened was um, I've been using Paper Tray Ink Stamper Select White Cardstock um, for a good few years now. Um, Paper Tray Ink put up their shipping costs internationally for cardstock um, and because of this I wanted to try and see if I could find um, an alternative to Paper Tray Ink um, Stamper Select White Cardstock. Um, either in the UK or in the US that had better shipping. So um, for me, um, for a white cardstock I'm looking for it to be smooth, um, I'm looking for it to be a heavyweight cardstock that I can use for card bases, um, stamp friendly so it stamps really well and Copic colouring friendly as well. Um, big ask um, but I do believe um, for me personally everyone's got their own opinion I do find that Paper Tray Ink works for me very well for that. Um, Obviously I'm going to go through all the different card stocks that I've tried and um, I really um, would like to thank um, my viewers um, for um, sending me some samples of their card stock that they like and also um, for different opinions that were put on my Facebook page. Um, I asked what everyone's favourite white card stock was so um, I have 16 different card stocks that I've tried um, so I'm going to go through them all separately and let you know my thoughts on them and I'll let you know my ultimate conclusion at the end. So um, first of all, I'm just going to show you this Paper Tray Ink one. Um, so I stamped it on. Um, this is Hero Arts Ink. Um, it's stamped fairly well. Um, it's a very thick cardstock. It's £110 in weight, which is around 300 GSM, um, which is what we use in the UK. Um, I do feel that it had nice blending with um, the Copic markers. Um, tinsy wincy wincy bit of um, bleeding on this one, but there was no bleeding on that one at all. Um, it's a great, personally for me, um, as I say, this is my opinion, so everyone's opinion is going to be different and um, how they feel that they use their cod stock and everything. Um, the only downfall for me is the shipping cost. Um, and then, so I tried the um, Simon's Stamp um, £120 card stock. Um, this is available in the US. Um, but shipping is um, really quite reasonable to the UK. Um, as you can see, I don't know if it's um, me personally, how I've stamped. Um, there was a bit of splotching here. Again, that's probably me not um, pressing firm enough. Um, there is some bleeding um, with the Copic colouring though, however. And I didn't get an excellent uh, impression on the stamping. Again, that might just be me. Um, it's very thick. Um, it's nice and smooth. Um, I don't know if it's got a coating on it though, however, um, and I really hate that things squeak <laughs> when you use Copic markers. Again, that is just my personal opinion. Um, a lot of people it doesn't bother them, but you do have to be careful with some of the coatings on cardstock though. It can damage um, the tip of the Copic markers, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, Although I think that is quite a good blend with the Copic markers, I did find it quite difficult to blend. It needs quite a lot of work, which is probably the reason why um, you've got the feathering and the bleeding there. Um, so I think this one, I'm not sure. Quite good price though, however. Um, I then bought um, some of this Paper Cuts cardstock. It's 300 GSM. Um, I don't know if I said this one, yeah, £120, sorry, the sum is it's down. So this one is um, 300 GSM, you can buy it in the UK. Um, I'm trying to sort of go by the colour, it's difficult. Um, I like the, um, basically I like the colour of it, it's quite a bright white. Um, there was... Um, as you can see, some bleeding, I don't know if you can see, some bleeding on the Copic markers here. Um, but a, quite a nice blend. Um, a fairly smooth stamp in terms of the Hero Arts ink. A little bit splotchy. Um, um, but the actual black um, outline stamp stamped really well on this one. And then um, I've got two different types um, of this Quick Draw Supplies smooth cardstock. This was from eBay. Um, extremely good price um, I have to say. This one is 160 GSM um, which basically for me is just paper. Um, so you, I mean without a doubt you could not use this as a card base um, but you could layer with it I suppose. Um, quite nice colour, quite bright. Um, the bleeding um, as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see, um, was absolutely awful. I mean 
it's just ridiculous um, and it just didn't blend well in the slightest um, yeah it gave a quite good uh, impression with the stamping um, not so good with the block stamping here um, yeah I don't rate this cardstock unfortunately it's just too thin for me um, but I do know that um, one of my readers of my blog uses it um, and I think apparently it's better with pro markers I believe um, and then this one here is the quick draw and this is 300 GSM this one was a lot better um, there was still bleeding from the Copic markers I think the blend was a lot better though and it's quite thick you could use this as a card base um, it's quite good and then I've um, got some um, paper to read. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce this um, diamond white cardstock is available in the UK um, this is 200 GSM, it is actually quite thick for 200 GSM um, I liked the um, the smoothness of it um, it stamped quite well with the outline um, blend was quite nice with the Copic markers there is some bleeding, not a massive amount um, but there is some um, I did find that when I was um, colouring it with the Copic markers it was squeaky um, which again for me is not great but um, <laughs> for most other people it's probably fine um, the only thing with this is um, it's by mail order it's not by um, ordering online as such um, I did email them to ask if I could either get a sample or I could buy some of the um, 300 GSM because I know that they sell that and um, they never got back to me unfortunately um, which kind of puts me off wanting to buy some more um, which is a bit unfortunate really um, but it's quite nice and thick even the 200 GSM the next one I got was the Express It Blended card um, which I know a lot of people like um, for Copic markers 250 GSM however to me that's not even as thick as the last 200 so I'm not quite 100% sure on all these um, thicknesses um, a really smooth stamping though and it's a really really smooth cardstock altogether um, tiny little bit of um, bleeding there but I think the um, actual overall um, Copic is um, colouring is quite smooth really nice outline stamp um, it's just it's thin I just wish they'd do it in a thicker um, weight basically and then it would be quite good I then got the CC Designs Copic Quality Cardstock which is £110 which is around 300 GSM um, this obviously you can only get in the US or at um, all that scraps um, apparently it's supposed to be Copic Quality the blending on this the um, the blending is very good sorry but the bleeding absolutely terrible <laughs> I mean um, yeah I'm not quite sure I know that other people do have good results with this um, I don't know if it's because I blended a lot or I'm not quite sure but um, otherwise it is a nice cardstock it's very thick um, yeah show you about that one I then got the Basil Card Shop Marshmallow £110 um, I did write £100 here but I think it's £110 I believe which is around 300 GSM you can get it in both um, the UK and the US um, in the UK you can only get in separate sheets currently and um, you can't get it in packs but um, the only thing with this is um, if I compare it to another white cardstock it might be difficult to see but um, it's quite creamy as opposed to uh, bright white but when it's on its own you can't really notice that um, stamping wise um, this stamp came out quite well this one not so much um, I have heard from Basil that this is Copic friendly um, I don't know if you can see here but the bleeding um, again awful absolutely awful um, maybe if I tried it again less blending um, and I've kind of got used to how the cardstock works might be a lot better um, really nice thick really thick actually I actually feel that this is thicker than the paper tray ink cardstock um, and I have to say <laughs> um, the Basil card shop cardstock in all the other colours is absolutely beautiful um, I really like this cardstock and the white as well I would use it to stamp but I wouldn't use it for Copic colouring um, maybe I'd give it another go but um, I will I have some of this and I will be using it I then got the um, Nina Classic Crest super smooth cardstock which you can get in the UK um, this is 216 GSM um, for me it really feels quite thin it's nice and smooth um, it was a tiny bit of bleeding, um, however not much at all. Um, stamp wise, not too bad. Um, shame it's so thin. Um, but I guess I know a lot of people would stamp 
colour and then cut out and then lay it on the on the um, card base. So they would use two separate card stocks. Um, but because I do quite a lot of either one layer cards or um, you know a panel, I kind of don't want that. I want a thicker card stock. But um, it's actually quite nice though for Copic markers. Um, and then got some of the Make It Colour cardstock. This is 250 GSM, available in the UK as well. Again, nice smooth um, cardstock, stamping not too bad, blend of Copics was good. A small amount of bleeding, um, however it squeaked like anything <laughs> when I was using the markers. Uh, didn't like that at all. Um, again, thin. That's the only problem. Um, I then got some of the Glitter Pot A4 Bleed Proof White cardstock in pure white and this is 300 GSM. I don't know if it's because this is smooth but it, it doesn't feel like 300 GSM to me at all. Um, I'm not quite sure why. Um, nice clean stamp, fairly. Um, blend is quite nice. Um, a fair amount of bleeding there. Um, again, maybe I could try and get used to it. Um, and a lot of squeaking as well and um, to me probably not thick enough to use as a card base even though it's supposed to be 300 GSM but it was a good price and the glitter pot I just have to say it has a absolutely excellent customer service and I really do like their shop um, I then got some of the Anna Marie Designs 300 GSM white smooth card again I've heard really good things about this um, it's kind of made I suppose for um, alcohol markers although I believe it works a lot better on Copic markers than it does on um, sorry I believe it works a lot better on pro markers sorry than Copic markers stamp wise um, this one didn't stamp out too well this one not too bad the black outline stamped quite well really nice smooth um, Copic markers there um, quite a lot of bleeding um, it's nice and thick um, price actually wasn't too bad um, it comes in a hundred sheets I don't know if that's the least you can get um, I will probably be using it for card bases and stamping without um, coping markers because I got quite a lot of sheets um, <laughs> delivered but I doubt that I will use it for coping markers um, which is a shame but um, yeah it's quite nice and um, the only thing is the shipping on this was quite expensive as well um, but I did get a free gift so. Um, I then got some of the Southfield White cardstock, 290 GSM. This feels really thick. Um, it feels like probably about 350 GSM actually. Um, so I, again, I'm not quite understanding on this um, these numbers here. Um, there was quite a lot of bleeding, unfortunately, um, but otherwise quite a smooth colouring, um, fairly smooth um, outline, and fairly smooth. Um, actual stamping um, yeah it's really nice and I know a lot of people um, like this and um, one of my readers in particular who kindly sent this to me um, and I think I actually think I might have used this in the past um, for stamping on um, so maybe if I didn't do so much blending with the Copic markers on a smaller area it might be a lot better I then tried the coping, uh, Copic sorry, stamping and illustration paper this is 130 GSM this is just is paper basically I know it's supposed to be paper but it is paper um, but I tried it anyway and um, it's really quite um, more of a cream color um, nice um, outline stamping fairly smooth um, you know other stamping um, there it did miss some bits again I don't know if that's me or that's the paper or the ink um, however there was absolutely loads of um, feathering there um, and bleeding Again, I don't know if that's just how I'm using the copy markers, but um, not for me. And then um, one of my lovely friends sent me some uh, a Borden Wiley um, 108 pound um, bleed proof paper for pens. I'm not sure exactly where you can get this from, whether you can get it in the UK or um, internationally. Um, really nice clean stamp, really smooth stamping, um, nice outline stamp. I do think I got a, f mm, I don't know, I didn't like it for Copic markers basically. The trouble was, as it's so thin, as I was colouring, um, it was coming onto my craft mat and then it was going back onto the back of the, um, the paper here. So it kind of bleeded through completely, if that makes sense. So if you were to use it, you would probably need a, you know, a sheet of paper underneath for it to um, go into. Um, yes, and although it's £108, 
I mean that is as thin as anything um, but it's actually very nice um, smooth cardstock so basically after all of that testing um, I didn't get the um, MFT stamps cardstock they don't um, ship to the UK um, I don't believe Gina K ships to the UK either but I know that that's quite a popular um, brand um, and there was one other one that I didn't think I could get hold of um, a W plus 9 I believe do one um, again I don't think that they ship to the UK I think I had to look um, I didn't try the Craftwork cards Copic um, digital card stock because I know I've used that in the past and I didn't like that at all I didn't use stamping up um, white card stock because it has a coating and that can damage your Copic markers um, a lot so th I didn't use it I didn't try them specifically because I knew that they weren't going to work for me as I've tried them in the past um, if however you know a cardstock that I haven't mentioned that you think I might want to try out please leave a comment on this um, video or on my blog post if you're watching it on my blog um, and let me know what you think otherwise I have made an order from Paper Tray Inc for some more white cardstock and I'll see how it goes thank you so much for watching I hope this has helped you a bit again this is completely just my opinion I know a lot of people like a lot of the cardstock that I've mentioned that I haven't um, liked um, I do also believe that you kind of get used to your cardstock um, especially with Copic markers you get used to how they um, if they bleed and things like that and you kind of just get used to how it works so you can stop the bleeding quite a lot of the time um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon